So we're going to find the enthalpy change for the reaction of the combustion of propane under standard conditions. So propane is C3H8 in the gas phase is what you use to cook your steaks in an outside grill, propane tank. You burn that stuff, it releases a lot of energy and uh, you know, use that energy to cook your steak outside. It's a combustion reaction. It reacts with, reacts with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide gas and water. Now we're going to balance this thing. Three carbons. I'm going to need three carbons at least. We do the hot, we do the oxygens last. Eight hydrogens. So I'm going to need four of these. Three times two is six plus an additional four oxygens. That's going to be 10 oxygens. So I'm going to put a five right here. I think this is balanced. Yep, I think that looks good. Now I want the enthalpy, overall enthalpy change for this reaction. So the way I'm just going to do this, I'm going to take, I want to, I want to get the standard enthalpies of formation of my reactants, and I'm going to end up subtracting these. And then I want the standard enthalpy of formation of my products, and I'm going to leave these the way that they are. But I'm going to remember that I'm going to multiply this by 3, and I'm going to multiply this by 4, and I'm going to multiply this by 5, and this I don't need to worry about. So I'm going to look through the chart, and I look up the standard enthalpy of formation of propane, and I'm going to just, I'm going to write these to the nearest uh, ones digit. So for propane, it's um, negative 105, and these are all kilojoules per mole. Oxygen, well O2 gas, that's just, that's the element in its standard state, so that's going to be zero. And if we were paying, you know, attention, if this wasn't zero, we'd have to make sure to multiply it by five. Because of zero, we don't have to worry about. Over here, let's see, I'm going to need CO2. That's going to be three times the enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide gas, that's minus 394. And then for water, it's gaseous water. That's going to be four times there's four moles, uh, negative 242 kilojoules for every mole of water that's produced. And we want to remember it's the enthalpy of the products minus the enthalpy of the reactants. So when I add all these up together, which is pretty easy to do, it's 105, right? But because it's minus this, I want to change that sign. I don't want to forget to do that. Products minus reactants. Over here, we're going to keep all the signs the same. I'm going to add these up. 394, make it negative, times 3, that's a negative 1182. Of course, that's kilojoules. 242, make it negative, times 4. Negative 968 kilojoules. So I'm going to take this. I've got to leave it negative. I'm going to subtract this because when I add these, a negative plus a negative, those, those are both going to stay negative. So 968 and 1182. That's a total of negative 2150. But I'm going to add 105. Remember, I had to change the sign. So I'm going to add 105 to that. And my overall enthalpy for this reaction, as written, under standard conditions, but it's not an enthalpy of formation. You know, in an enthalpy of formation, you're just going to have one product made from its reactants in its standard state. That's not what we have here. We just have a reaction. But I'm getting a negative 2045 kilojoules. And it turns out in this particular reaction, that's going to be a negative 2045 kilojoules for every mole of propane that's combusted. We could equally say for every five moles of oxygen gas that ends up reacting, 
Or we could also say we're going to release this much energy for every three moles of carbon dioxide gas that's produced. I'm going to stop and ask myself if this makes sense. Well, let's see. My enthalpy change is negative. Is that exothermic or endothermic? It's exothermic. That's a release of energy. I'm burning propane. We know that combustion reactions release energy, and we use that energy to do a lot of useful work. So I think it makes sense, at least in terms of the sign, that my enthalpy for this particular reaction is going to be negative. 